Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, OG Gang, to another video. As y'all can see, it's my content today. If you watch my last two videos, you know I didn't have the same th the same stuff on. We sit in the same spot, boo. I'm getting all this content out. I'm getting all this content out to y'all fresh, okay? <laughs> but anyway, y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in today. I missed you guys from the last video I just recorded. <laughs> But no, for real, thank you guys for tuning in. If you're tuning in today, go ahead and subscribe if you have not already. Go ahead and turn on that notification bell so you know every time I post. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you feel it in. And also just so it can circulate to the audience that I'm trying to target. So guys, in today's video, I just want to talk a little bit about what it's like going into transition or change for me. Um, I don't know... I don't know if everybody feels the same about transitioning and change like I do, so it's going to be interesting to know how you guys, how you guys feel. Let me know down in the comments and let's get into the video. So, recently I turned 25 at the end of May and um I was just reflecting on myself. You know when you turn an age you reflect, you know? And I was just reflecting on how I have always gone through so many changes and transformations but i feel like i really don't flow through them as seamlessly as i can or should but it's really like can you really put um a linear image on how change and transformation is supposed to look no um you can't i don't feel like you can but for me it's always kind of like a struggle i have uh i might have a little hard time letting certain things go um or i just tend to dwell on them for a very long period of time and i really want to change that about myself or for myself because i feel like as i grow older and i'm starting to learn more about the art form of detachment um it's been helping me a little bit but i am still a big hearted girl i am very passionate about the things that i do about the things that i get into and so when it's time to let them go you best believe it'd be hard for me <laughs> and most of the time like when you're going through change and transition you know when something is coming to an end but the hard part about the transition part through the change is like you sometimes you don't know what's next sometimes you do i'm not gonna say every time you don't know but sometimes you do know and sometimes you don't know and when you don't know it's really a struggle and most of the times i don't know and so it's mainly a struggle <laughs> but honestly i feel like what like a few the top three things i have learned through change and transition are some of the things that i just learned to hold on to and how i just learned to pick myself back up through the change and the change and transition of life so like um one of the top things i have learned is like be willing to have endings and to have beginnings whatever that may look like for you um for some people that may be leaving a job for some people that be may packing up and moving to another state or country for some people that may be like getting closure in a relationship ending a relationship that you know isn't good for you setting boundaries um those things can look like endings and beginnings um and for me right now, I'm in a season of an ending and a beginning physically and mentally. And right now, through the transition, it's like, okay, I know what I want, but it's like, where am I going? And so one of those things I have learned to do through transition is to get allow yourself to see the beginning and the ending because it may give you some perspective on exactly what you want to do. Um, like I said, once I turned 25, I did a lot of reflecting but through change and transition you also do a lot of reflecting so first thing be willing to see the beginning and ending of things number two <laughs> is going to be i think just allowing yourself to go through it the best way i could put that is like don't fight the change don't resist the change the harder you resist the change the harder you resist the transition the harder it is to accept it or just to simply be where you want to be i feel like in moments we can be like oh you know we can be controlling or at least for me i can be very controlling about the things in my life i'm like okay boom from a to b this is how it's about to go it's about to break down like this it's gonna go exactly like this so we're gonna be good and it never 
happens like that and have y'all ever heard that saying like tell god your plans or give god i don't really know the damn quote (laughs) it's like tell god your plans or give god your plans just for him to laugh at you or something like that um behind that saying is just like you can plan out any and everything however you see fit but in all honesty everything don't always go as plans and sometimes god got something better in store for you and so that's why i say just go with the flow of the change yes you know have your list have your breakdown because you gotta meet the universe halfway sometimes but like don't be so attached to that list that you can't appreciate yourself you can't appreciate the flow of train of the change and transition you know sometimes when you in change and transition you don't even know you just look up and be like oh shoot i'm doing it like this is it and i feel like once you have that feeling it's like a great feeling because you you thinking like damn i just stressed all that for nothing i just put all that time and energy into that for nothing and look at me now and so yeah that's number two for me um number three is going to be from change and transition is stop telling everybody Stop telling everybody that you're going through a change and transition because, baby, once they, I feel like once people hear that, it's like something clicks in their brains to make it be like, oh, I have everything to say. Like, did I ask you that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like when people are going through trains and transitions, it's just like some people support, most people don't. And that's okay. But sometimes you just got to keep certain stuff between you and God until you know it's done for sure. And once you go through t- change and transition, it's like starting anew. So it's like you just starting your footing in this. You're trying to find your foundation back. Well, not even your foundation, but rebuild the foundation into something greater. And I feel like other people's influences and opinions when it comes to things like that could just be so overwhelming. And it's just like, dude, stop putting stop putting your shit onto me that you want to do in life go out there and do it don't put your fears onto me don't don't do none of that okay if you're not here to support me 100 percent to give me a thumbs up then just get out of my way I, it's not that i need it or nothing like that but i valued you enough to tell you but i valued you enough in my life to tell you this important thing and so it's like if i'm coming to you about it i do expect some type of support i don't want to hear like oh you're never going to be able to do that that's going to be too hard you're going to have to work extremely hard like no just let me do it and be happy that i did it okay so yeah that is like how i feel about change and transition especially in my 20s it's just so many things that you have to go with the ebb and flow with in your 20s y'all and it can be exhausting i mean look at the look on my face but um most of the time it can be very rewarding very exciting you just never know where the world can lead you and just like how one moment can change your life forever because you decided to wake up and be like you know what i think i will go the flow this change i think i will stop resisting this i think i will you know have a higher um way of receiving things uh change in perspective i'll have a better change in perspective about the thing or the change and transition that's going around um that's going on for myself to better myself and how i can really hone in on this and so through that my advice to y'all is that stuff ain't easy but it could definitely be done um navigating change and transition in your 20s but um you just gotta really hone in and see what feels right for you i feel like because for some people they like adapt to change and ebb and flow like so effortlessly but for someone like me that has a contingency to really hold on to things it, it can be hard even the things we know that aren't good for us the habits the people the places the jobs you know the eating habits like it, it just be so many different things so yeah all i can really say is like find out what works for you see if any of my advice works for you or my tips work for you and just see what what it could be like and let me know what your change and transition has been like in the past or what you want it to be or how it's going currently you don't have to tell me what you change and transition through of course but i just want to know like do you guys struggle with it or do you just flow through it seamlessly do you have any tips and pointers because if you do please put them in the comments for your girl 
but yeah if you stayed this long in a video thank you so much go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so it can circulate to other like-minded people go ahead and subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn on your notification bell so you know every time your girl posts i enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye